and uh, the Stormers, the DHL Stormers lying in seventh, coming off two excellent wins in this competition against Zebra and Cardiff. And Stormers, well, a couple of changes for them. The big one is France Malherba returning from injury to play his first match in the United Rugby Championship. Chad Solomon starts at hooker in place of the injured Skara and Tubeni and Paul Devet preferred at scrum half to Herschel Yankees. And uh, for Ulster, well, the big news is uh, Dwayne Vermeulen, 61 test cap Springbok playing at number eight. Also Rob Herring, who uh, grew up around Cape Town with 26 caps for Ireland. And uh, a big day for the captain, Alan O'Connor, who wins his 150th cap for Ulster here this afternoon. There he is. Alan O'Connor, who played international rugby at under-20 level, 116th appearance in the competition for him today, having uh, previously played for the academies at both Leinster and Ulster. He's really carved out a wonderful career and uh, just keep being given some space by his teammates to lead them out on the occasion of his 150th appearance for the club. doubtless have had a little bit of market intelligence to share with his teammates having played in the colors of both the DHL Stormers and the Vodacom Bulls who Ulster face next week up at Loftus Versfeld finally opting for the hoist backwards off Leolinsas and here's Marnie Lubbock Warwick Galant beautiful show the ball from him and then Sass is away and he's got Kalant to his left, he's got Devet to his right. Paul Devet will run it in for the Stormers. It's a magical start. Well, it was an energetic start from Alster. The Stormers patient defensively. Waited, waited. Eventually Burns forced to kick. And then the Stormers struck. Magical passing, good support play. Paul Devet gets the try. But this is where the magic started. Warakalant, the dummy, over and under Zas with the leg drive. Then on, just look for support. It's a two on one. And Paul Devet. Devet, Nell, and Lebok shakes off one tackler. Three away to Devet's right. Galant is one of them. Trying to worm his way through and broke down just centimetres short. Out the back of the hand from Lebok. Willemsa. Devet for kits off this time. They won a quick ball away to the left. Devet it is. And through the hands of Kalant and Lebok. And Leolinsas with the simplest of walk in tries. They could not have scripted a better start. Just had a, a quiet word with Stephen Kitsoff. I'm not sure if that was a, in the five. a formal warning. Herring breaks away from the back of the mall as it was uh, brought to ground. Burns. Strong tackle from Ori. Still they come. Marty Moore with the drive and Ulster have their first. An important score just after the end of the first quarter, having conceded a couple of early tries inside the first eight minutes. For Devet, and off the left boot from Marnie Lubbock. This is a big test for Ulster, and brilliantly handled by Lowry. Under pressure from Willemser, but then the Stormers again causing havoc at the breakdown. And it is 100 up for Marnie Lebok. Been in good form with the boot. Cuts off at a hand on the ball. Just couldn't quite get both over it. Faree will make no. an attempt now, but he's cleaned off it. You lose touch of the ball, and then you go again on the ball. Then the ruck is full. So Cooney with an opportunity to bring his team back within seven. And another very pure strike from Ulster's scrum half since then they really have 
stuck to their plan. Advantage. They have a, a penalty advantage now at the scrum. I cannot play. The territory position has been asked us. Very efficient and effective kicking style from John Cooney. That's three out of three for him. A couple of penalties and the conversion. He's the bit now, Smith. To not rolling, Chakler this will be a gift of a penalty. Good, but you need to roll. So, a kick of exactly 40 meters <laughs> raises the flags. Cooney always inside the 50. And Burns with a cross kick, perfectly judged for Gilroy. And Galant, well, he might have just carried that back, and that's a terrible mistake. Sia Bella Sanatla, including two pacey loose forwards in Pocomela and Diamani. Good solid platform from the scrum for Mielin with the pickup. Stormers diving onto the loose ball. That is a great rescue act from the Stormers. Retreat, retreat. Lowry's hoist, Tibet claims, and then Advantage. Solomon. Kits off. Number three never retreated inside the and ten. Ruiz. Just couldn't get away from Murphy. Lebok. Little grabber kick through. No, he and Lebok loved it. And why not? Just stretches that lead again to ten. Kieran Treadwell. Contact made with him in the air. McCloskey. Does brilliantly well, and Ulster have their second try. Almost from nothing, Stuart McCloskey. On a penalty advantage. For the early drive onto the line-out jumper. To the front they go for Callum Reid. And into the midfield, good hands from McElroy. Almost uh, an interception opportunity for Ruan Nell. Mani Libok drops back to grab the chip over the top. Advantage being played to Ulster. They have it away by Burns. Treadwell. Advantage, advantage called over. McCloskey. Gets his advantage. hands over the tackle. And Vermeulen gets his offload yep. away as well. No advantage. Number 20 high tackle there. And the high Jacker tackle is call is against Hachiba Diamond. Tie the game up at 23 all, but no, they go more. for the more and over the 15 meter line initially. Always back and that's a critical turnover. Okay, outside the 10. Away by McElroy for Lowry. Such an elusive runner. Cooney, Ray. Burns looks to his inside, beautiful line it was too, from Marshall. Well, that's a, another hugely relieving penalty. Contribution from Treadwell, he has been tireless throughout. And here's another opportunity for McElroy. Just drops it onto the boot, regathers himself. Tackle from Lebok. Cooney goes in, away for Burns. Step from Lowry. And then Burns. Wide over the top from Little. Says the referee, Stewart. Making good headway. Just five meters short now. It's not tackled. No tackle is the call, and here come Ulster. Away, 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 blue! Leave it, blue, leave it! And there is the score that they so desired. Callum Reed, it looks like a loose head replacement.
at the loser of the ball. So it's a, it's a knock on, scrum there. What a dramatic turn and twist in this game. Callum Reed thought he'd got over. We all thought he'd got over to put Ulster in front for the first time, but a massive, massive let off. The ball is lost before the touch of the 